The International Criminal Court's chief prosecutor has said she wants to open an investigation into alleged crimes against Rohingya as they fled Burma and into Bangladesh. The court announced on Wednesday that a panel of judges will consider whether to authorize prosecutor Fatou Ben Sauda's request, which has not yet been filed. The court said Ms. Ben Sauda wants to investigate alleged crimes within the context of two waves of violence in Rakhine State in Burma and any other crimes sufficiently linked to these events. Last year, the court ruled that it has jurisdiction over alleged deportations of Rohingya to Bangladesh. Burma is not a member of the global court, but Bangladesh is Burma's military, has been accused of widespread rights violations leading about 800,000 Rohingyas to flee the country since August 2017. An internet blackout in parts of Burma, including Arakan State, could be a cover for gross human rights violations in an area where a brutal army crackdown has already forced hundreds of thousands of Rohingyas to flee, a UN rights investigator said. Last Friday, the Burmese government took the unprecedented step of ordering mobile phones operators to shut down all internet data across at least eight townships in Arakan and one in neighboring Chin states. I fear for all civilians there, said UN Special Repertoire to Burma Yang He Lee, calling for the immediate lifting of restrictions. The military's clearance operations can be a cover for committing gross human rights violations against the civilian population, she said, referencing alleged mass atrocities committed against Rohingyas in 2017. In addition, more than 20 Burmese based civil and digital rights groups cited threats to civilian safety in a petition yesterday calling on the government to lift the blackout and amend the telecommunications law to ensure uninterrupted internet access. Among the telecommunications companies affected by the blackout, only Telenor has publicly acknowledged it, saying in a statement on June 21st, Telenor Myanmar has been asking for further clarification on the rationale for the shutdown and emphasized that freedom of expression through access to telecoms services should be maintained for humanitarian purposes, especially during times of conflict. The Burmese government has long been in the process of genocide against the minority Rohingya community in western Arakan state. The exodus of Rohingyas began in August 2017 after Burmese security forces launched a brutal genocidal operation on Rohingyas.